So, I have been told that there are Flesh and Blood and also Disney Locana tournaments at SCG Con. It's been some time since I've gone to a convention. And yeah, there is no Meta Zoo. No Meta Zoo in this thing, Majig, right? No One Piece, which is going to upset some people. No Sorcery. So the one thing I can tell you is if you really want to be smart with your money, follow the biggest companies. Often they know stuff. Um, when Channel Fireball is dumping MetaZoo, it's because they know that the inventory is just too high in their sales data. They have years and years, if not decades, of sales data. That's why the buy list on Card Kingdom, you can make fun of it whatever you want. But I think it is well researched. I think the people in control of the buy list for Card Kingdom are very intelligent because it gives them enough. It, it gives you the incentive to sell to them, which is hard. And it gives them the incentive to buy it at that price, which again is hard. So one thing I want to talk about is flesh and blood. Uh, I've been watching some videos. I had no interest in the game until basically, I, according to Rudy, they gave him a, you know, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. I guess a slap on the hand and whatever it is because he'll be back to selling Rudy $1,000 promo, Gem Keeper promos in no time. I mean, I thought the whole idea of buying a Gem Keeper promo was it would give you continuous discounts, right? Well, then the discount would have ended, and that would be terrible for the people who paid $1,000 for that uh, promo card. Now, look at it. It's Flesh and Blood, it's Locana, and it is Magic the Gathering. Now, SEG doesn't do Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! has a big con uh, regional or something coming up next week. Uh, how do I know that? Because my girlfriend's nephew is attending it with... A few of his friends. Uh, it's like a free on free battle thing. I think that's kind of cool. You know, I, I think that's kind of neat that like you just gotta two people gotta win and then you know they can go on. Um, I will say that uh, gameplay is very, very, very important. That's what I'm gonna say. People gotta play your game. Disney Locana, they're still on Facebook. If you go on Facebook Marketplace, I, I bet you there's some douchebags who didn't take out their, you know, scalping. So they're still trying to sell it for $350 or $400 a box. Uh, the boxes, I got offered $150 a box from just a random, or eight boxes at $150. I don't know what the distributor price is, but I'm going to find out uh, very soon. I don't have my phone on me. I can just text them and figure out what it is. Uh, it is interesting because Locana wants you to play the game, so the boxes are not like wrapped or anything like that. They're quote sealed, but they're sealed is a very different definition of sealed than Magic. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is doing really well. Um, I went to a store the other day, and it was full. Uh, people were playing Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, so I think Magic. This is a good time to be a store for a game. If if you offer gameplay and you're not telling people to invest and sit on boxes of corset, then I think this is a very, very interesting time to be a Magic player. I do agree with the LSS assessment that, you know, when your whole market, I can, we can use MetaZoo for instance, when your entire marketplace has no gameplay, uh, there are no content creators really doing gameplay. There's no one, you know, there's no tournaments. I've never seen a picture I've seen one picture of MetaZoo uh, gameplay, and that, I don't know if it's real. It's a caster cup, right? Supposedly they paid. I mean, one of the things they had to do was pay out the caster cup, right? Because they're so wealthy, and I don't know. No one even knows if they paid them out, but they were supposed to pay them out before 2023. Um, so we can talk about sorcery. We can talk about One Piece, but Star City Games is not an idiot, guys. They're not an idiot. They're incredibly smart people. They have the data. They have the analysis. And they're telling me right now it's magic. And you might go, oh, well, the Pokemon's not here. Yeah, yeah, because, it, again, it's gameplay. I'm not talking about gameplay. You know, people collect Pokemon, and that's great. And they get Pokemon cards graded, and that's great. Just like MetaZoo, they can collect it. You can be successful in a different way. 
but I want to focus just on gameplay and the importance of making cards affordable and relatively fun to play with. Disney Locana dropped boxes from 350 to 150 and uh, I can tell you there is a panic right now to sell them for 150 or less. People have a lot and they put a lot of money into it. They tried to scalp it. It went wrong. And now they got to dump it. And uh, there's not many outlets to dump it because everyone's just waiting for more reprints. And I saw them at Best Buy the other day. The first time I saw Disney Locana, it was at Best Buy. And everyone's like fully stocked and there's no reason to panic and pay scalper prices when they're easily available at your Best Buy. Um, the other thing that I think is really important is the Flesh and Blood community as a whole have rejected the idea of Rudy Chan. And they rejected the idea of finance and rejected the idea of, uh, you know, they, they just want collectible card pieces, collectible game pieces. And maybe that's right. I don't really know. But I can tell you magic will recover. And I can tell you like uh, hair coasted cursed totem is up 92%, which is really good combo. Jix, uh, Gix is up. 74%. I'm seeing like cards go up in price. Skull Clamp, 76%. That card's been reprinted to like Oblivion and that card is going up. Intruder Alarm, uh, wow, okay, that's, wow, it's $2 now. That's crazy. Uh, Sword and War of Peace, that is really, really low. I mean, at the end of the day, I think what I'm going to say is magic is magic. It's meant to be played and I definitely enjoy playing it. You know, it's um, quite fascinating that when you get into the finance and you're doing everything, I rem it reminds me of the uh, War of Warcraft episode in South Park where they're, you know, grinding and trying to uh, beat this uh, old guy uh, or this uh, fat Mountain Dew guy. And then they're like, okay, we, we did it. What do we do next? And, oh, we finally played a game. I feel like there's some truth in that where everyone's, investing everyone's making investment opportunities and doing and no one's actually enjoying collecting or playing the game when that was the whole point that we have the game um just 100 percent like you know i i think a lot of people are not um no a lot of people are not really having that much fun because they've they're losing money but if you view this as a cheap affordable game and somewhere that you would have fun with, yeah, it's not bad. The prices are pretty affordable, in my opinion, and they're getting cheaper and cheaper all the time. Anyway, bye, guys.